this is not my list. So all of the Division One FBS coaches have been ranked, you know, on a scale of z- zero to five in terms of how safe their job is and what is expected of them or what needs to happen this season for them to a keep their job, um, stay where they're at, or you know potentially be fired. What what they can and and cannot do on the field determines you know what their ranking is and. Ryan Day scored pretty high, and uh, when it comes to a list like this that was created by one of the major media outlets, this is not a list that you want to score very high on. You want to score as close to the one and zero as possible. He received a four. Start improving now, great. Uh, I'm a guy that's been very critical of Ryan Day. I've been a guy that's, you know, t- you know, kept it like it is in terms of Ryan Day. Even when I'm in person with him, he's I respect him, man. I feel like he's a great person to talk to, someone that's very, you know, responsive. He can communicate with, it. you know, all groups um, at the university, you know, whether, you know, the parents, you know, parents that are, you know, coming to be potentially recruited by Ohio State. Obviously, everything that involves Ohio State with boosters, alumni, you know, faculty, his own coaching staff and players. He's a great person. You know, he he can really communicate with everyone. But, you know, a start improving now grade, I don't think Ryan Day – deserves a start improving now grade. We're really talking about one game. Because for the most part he's been pretty successful at Ohio State, you know. But we're really just talking about one game and, you know, talking to a lot of people, you know, around Ohio, they don't really care about what he does. They just care about winning that the last game at the end of the season. I don't know how much leeway if he goes eleven and one again <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how you really grade a uh, a coach that's really determined by because he's not a, a terrible coach. He's you know won the Big Ten. He's been to the Big Ten champion. He's won first of all. He's won his division before. He's he's you know been to the Big Ten championship game and won it before. He's been to the college football playoff multiple times. He's played for a national title. It's really hard to say he needs to start improving now. I mean, I, I don't think there's a – the only thing that can get better is he's been his rival before. You know, he's won a playoff game before. So, I, I, I guess you're gauging him off Ohio State expectations of a national championship. That's pretty much – and, and beating the rival, that's pretty much it. I don't know how you grade Ryan Day. I don't know how. I don't know. I mean, you know, if Ohio State is – Easily, you know, competitive to win 10-plus games year in and year out under Ryan Day. So, I don't know. I mean, what – I mean, there's so many college football programs that that, that would love to just make a bowl game, go 7-5. and five. I mean, Ryan Day, I mean, you, we should he should win at least 9 or 10 games this season. If he's failing to reach 10 games and he start going 8-4, and 9-3, and three, it – you know, then okay. But, I mean, he's right there. I'm not a guy that's going to call for – I'll call for a job if he can't beat the rival. But to say that to say that he needs to start improving now means he's been terrible throughout the season, which has not been the case. We could talk about his faults and his fallings and his failing at the end of the season. But throughout the season, Ryan Day has been a tremendous head coach, and he's put Ohio State in position to be in the conversation. Now, obviously, that's not good enough in my eyes, and, and many, a lot of Buckeye fans, a lot of everybody go down the list. That's not good enough. But, you know, overall, said that he needs to start improving now. Is I don't, I just don't understand how you can say that, you know. You're, you're, we're judging him off of four games, really? Even it, I won't say even four because the Big Ten West is terrible. So we're basically judging Ryan Day off of beating one of his top rivals, and then winning two playoff games. Start improving now, I don't know. Maybe the standard should be, hey, we want him to go 3-0 in these games, but you have to get to that point, and he's he's consistently putting Ohio State there in that position. So, And he's not having the, the, the Urban Meyer pitfalls of falling to an at Iowa, falling to a Purdue, losing games you're not supposed to lose. He's been competitive now. You could point to Oregon. Oregon was a great team. They're a lot better than Iowa and Purdue. But I don't really know how you could say he needs to start improving now. How he's he's as a head coach, he's kept things afloat post Urban Meyer.